bit of a fool over here. The bottom line is you don't know what you're talking about, and I don't have time for this. You say you paid for a 2000 Hyundai Accent, but the defendant has it in her possession and refuses to return it. Yes, sir. You, ma'am, say your name's on it. It's a stick, and she doesn't know how to drive a stick. But the problem is, is that the plaintiff does not have a valid California operator's license. Mm, that's correct. Now, I'll ask you this up front. Do you have a valid California operator's license? No, so I do, but I do have my permit to get my license. And I am working towards getting my license, and I am taking driving classes to get my license. And I only have one more driver's class before I'm able to get the license. But she would be getting an automatic. She wouldn't be getting a stick. We'll get into all of this. All right, mm -hmm. now, it develops that you were staying with your aunt. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Why? I was staying with her through legal guardianship through the state because I'm not able to live with my mom. Now, you had a troubled early existence. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you put money down on this vehicle? I originally purchased a vehicle that I'd be able to get myself from school, and the only way I was able to get to school is on the bus. That's not true. And the bus Stop is, is, interrupting. The bus is in Stockton run every hour, so if I miss the bus, <clears throat> I'll be an hour late to class. So I wanted to get the vehicle so I can be to class on time and make sure I'm always there. All right. Why did you choose a manual gear shift? I chose that because she told me that she would help me learn how to drive it because stick chips are cheaper now and they're good on brakes. Stop interrupting. Mm -hmm. That's incorrect. And I knew that it would be good for me to learn how to drive a stick because like she told me, if you know how to drive a stick, you can drive any other kind of car, which I felt like would be good for me. But then when I purchased the car the day right after I bought it, her car broke down. That's not and correct. You're work correct anymore. about okay, that. Why are you interrupting mm -hmm. her? I ask you, this is uh, time three or four not to do that because I can't hear if you do that. That's correct. Maybe what the problem is is you're in a habit of not listening and you aren't sure how you got where you are and that you are in the wrong and not the plaintiff. You must be referring to her because that's not me. Oh, you just are hard-headed too, aren't you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You may continue. Okay. So the day right after I bought the vehicle. By the way, you paid for it in total, did you yes, not? Yes, sir. With why is her name on the vehicle? My name? Her name on the The only reason why I put her name on there is because since I don't have a license, she told me I cannot legally register the vehicle. So the defendant's name is on this title? Yes. Do you sure. still live with her? No. I moved out. Um in the beginning of December, and I moved into a transitional home because I felt like I could no longer live with her because we were having too many disputes. Such as? Such as about money, and um, she felt like I wasn't cleaning up enough. Like, she said I dirty the house up and that I wasn't did. a you clean person, did. and she just felt like I wasn't doing any well for her. You so were. I moved out because I feel like if I'm being a problem to her, I might as well eliminate myself. Well, see, up until September last, she was effectively getting compensated for keeping you. Well, that's not the way that worked, Joe Brown. Oh, that's no, the way it worked. She was receiving State Social California. Security for I taking was, care of me, Your Honor. Yes, I know. Oh, you were getting a check from the federal government and the mm -hmm. state because of your dependent situation based <laughs> on your mother's problems. Now, you have received nothing. She has the vehicle, right? She has a vehicle, Your Has Honor. insurance been paid to keep it current? No. Or do have, you know? I have not paid insurance for it. When I first purchased the vehicle, I did pay the insurance to pay it for two months. But after the vehicle was taken from me, I stopped Her vehicle insurance. broke down two days after you yes. acquired the Hyundai. Yes, sir. Fast paperwork up. Mm -hmm. Trying to cut through a lot of knots of confusion here mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. to the essence of this matter. Now, we will go to you, Madam Defendant. You have the floor now, ma'am. First of all, Miss White, go Jasmine for it. Defend is, yourself. Jasmine is my niece by blood, but 
Other than that, she is an I've raised over 40 children in foster care. Yes, that's okay? what you do. They're okay. You and get paid well, by the state of and California, well. and some However, of the fosterlings that you have receive compensation from the federal government for various and sundry reasons. They're minors. They receive so, more than that. They receive loving care and guidance and direction, which is something that she became incorrigible with. She turned um, 18 in September. All of a sudden, she started to act as if she was, okay, she's grown by law. But other than that, she's not. She's sneaking out of my house between 2 and 4 in the morning, okay? Not only that, she turned, um, she became my in-home support service worker because of my illness. I have full-blown um, multiple sclerosis. This person has taken advantage of me to every end, okay? Done everything she could to be disrespectful in just in every way possible. Actually, with the things she wrote and having me taken to a superior court with the restraining order, after she's the one in my house behaving indecently, each and every indecently. Last, what indecently, do you mean by that? Her attitude, her nasty behavior, throwing her keys and cutting my uh, cutting my furniture. Okay, the yeah, various I things that, that she's done. Okay, with my sisters both coming trying to talk to her. Everybody, all her um, cousins trying to reason with her. Talk to reason her about, with her about because it's what? saying, why do you need to go to court with your aunt? who has been there for you, who took you in when you had nowhere to go. She ended up leaving her sister's home who had her from 7 to 10. Well, let me give okay. you a suggestion. There is this matter relative to the lack of proper accounting for the funds that were paid to you as a trustee, a guardian of her affairs that she alleged had been improperly well, that's her alleging. diverted <laughs> to usages other than what the state of California and the United States government intended those funds and to be used there. for. They went for what they were supposed to be used for. Okay. Every month, in addition, she had her 50 something dollar phone bill paid along with the $100 to, um, in, um, in, in allowance. That was your requirement that prior requirement. to her becoming a um, maid of getting our majority. That is, the that court not, required that no, of it you. Doesn't. No, it does not. Okay. Because it was not foster care, it was care for her being in my home. So it does not. So you got the check that's sent to right. you and I that you were supposed to disperse to her. Well, no, that's why you no, got taken to I court. Was not because she to said you to her. couldn't properly account well, for the incorrect. funds. It's incorrect. Ten years her sister had her. Not once. That's she not what her. we're here for. Okay. We're here for Only, a title. Exactly. And the title was um, was acquired when she went, like she said. Yes, she did purchase it for two thousand, not twenty two. Okay. And I was there with her in the time of a stressful period of me needing to move. You needing to move? What yes, the hell this got to me. do with you? She was living this with me. This is her car. She was and living what's that got with to do me. with you? It has everything to do with me because she was living with me. And, and you were getting paid healthy. for it. No, yeah. I was not. By September, that had stopped. Lady. No, it did not happen. Oh, you tread on very thin no, ice. No, you, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Because you were not there, you have no knowledge of what went on, okay? All you have is a statement of a fool over here, so you're incorrect at what you're saying. You were not there. Now, okay? your contention and your answer is that she is wrong because you applied to the state to have her made your caregiver for which she was supposed to be compensated. You say that you had one of her other relatives provide the caregiving and what i'm looking at is it does not appear she's received any of the benefits of this care giver status and somebody seems to have taken the money the state of california paid out keep talking okay you don't know what you're talking about you totally come on big mouth okay well, it makes you feel good to say that, okay? No, I'm correct. trying to egg you on to, you to, 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 to divulge more like evidence mm -hmm. to be used There's against no you in a criminal prosecution. You ain't going to prosecute me. I'm not even concerned. Okay, the bottom line is you don't know what you're talking about, okay? Where you is the about. car now? It's in Sacramento. Why is it confiscated impound because your son was driving uh -huh. it? Who? By the way, it didn't appear to have an operator's license anyway true. when they pulled him true. over and the vehicle was impounded and towed. See, you are a big mouth well, liar you anyway. It's a lie. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. Okay. 
It's, it's incorrect and it's all a lie. Okay. But I you, think maybe somebody liar, needs to investigate you. Oh, and if you walk out of here, you're subject to criminal penalties. Okay. That's five hundred dollar assessment. <laughs> now I have a problem here. And here's what the problem is. It looks like the state of California has confiscated that vehicle because your cousin, her son, was driving the thing. It was impounded. I'll see to it that you get it restored to you. Okay, thank you. Young lady, don't lose faith in yourself. Sometimes your relatives are your worst friends, and it looks like your mother and your aunt have a lot in common. Your recovery will be 2,229 in actual damages, 2,771 in punitive. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. That's your that. award as indicated. This party is now in recess. The defendant tried her best to be the victim here, but it's tough to top the road the plaintiff's been down. of a fool over here. The bottom line is you don't know what you're talking about, and I don't have time for this. You say you paid for a 2000 Hyundai accent, but the defendant has it in her possession and refuses to return it. Yes, sir. You, ma'am, say your name's on it. It's a stick, and she doesn't know how to drive a stick. But the problem is, is that the plaintiff does not have a valid California operator's license. Mm, that's correct. Now, I'll ask you this up front. Do you have a valid California operator's license? No, so I do, but I do have my permit to get my license. And I am working towards getting my license, and I am taking driving classes to get my license. And I only have one more driver's class before I am able to get the license. But she would be getting an automatic. She wouldn't be getting a stick. We'll get into all of this. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, it develops that you were staying with your aunt. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Why? I was staying with her through legal guardianship through the state because I'm not able to live with my mom. Now, you had a troubled early existence. Mm -hmm. Why is it that you put money down on this vehicle? I originally purchased a vehicle that I'd be able to get myself from school. And the only way I was able to get to school is on the bus. That's not true. And the bus Stop is, is, interrupting. Mm -hmm. The bus is in Stockton run every hour. So if I miss the bus, mm -hmm. I'll be an hour late to class. So I wanted to get the vehicle so I can be to class on time and make sure I'm always there. All right. Why did you choose a manual gear shift? I chose that because she told me that she would help me learn how to drive it because stick chips are cheaper now and they're good on brakes. Stop interrupting. Mm -hmm. Correct. And I knew that it would be good for me to learn how to drive a stick because, like she told me, if you know how to drive a stick, you can drive any other kind of car, which I felt like would be good for me. But then, when I purchased the car, the day right after I bought it, her car broke down. That's not and correct. You're correct about okay, that. Why are you interrupting mm -hmm. her? I ask you, this is uh, time three or four not to do that because I can't hear if you do that. That's correct. Maybe what the problem is, is you're in a habit of not listening and you aren't sure how you got where you are and that you are in the wrong and not the plaintiff. You must be referring to her because that's not me. Oh, you just are hard-headed too, aren't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. You may continue. Okay, so the day right after I bought the vehicle... By the way, you paid for it in total, did you yes, not? Yes, sir. With Why is her name on the vehicle? My name? Her name on the... The only reason why I put her name on there is because since I don't have a license, she told me I cannot legally register the vehicle. So the defendant's name is on this title? Yes. Do you sure. still live with her? No. I moved out um, in the beginning of December, and I moved into a transitional home because I felt like I could no longer live with her because we were having too many disputes. Such as? Such as about money and... um. She felt like I wasn't cleaning up enough. Like, she said I dirty the house up and that I wasn't did. a you clean person. Did. And she just felt like I wasn't doing any well for her. You so were. I moved out. Because I feel like if I'm being a problem to her, I might as well eliminate myself. Well, see, up until September last, she was effectively getting compensated for keeping you. 
Well, that's not the way that worked, Joe Brown. Oh, that's no, the way it worked. She was receiving state of Social Security for taking care of me, Your Honor. Yes, I know. You were getting a check from the federal government and the mm -hmm. state because of your dependent situation based yeah. on your mother's problems. Now, you have received nothing. She has the vehicle, right? She has the vehicle, Your Honor. Has insurance been paid to keep it current? No. Or do I you know? I have not paid insurance for it. When I first purchased the vehicle, I did pay the insurance to